Good morning, YouTube. Update on the greenhouse. It's like 40 degrees outside, and it's all right in here. The heater hasn't even kicked on, I don't think. Uh, a little update on the greenhouse. Uh, fodder system's going in for the goat. I gotta shim that up. I fell asleep early yesterday and didn't get it done. I went inside to get out of the heat and died. But everything's doing good for plants. Tomatoes looking awesome. Got to thin those out. But I need to get more buckets from the bakeries and stuff. And go from there. Everything's doing good though. And onions are coming up for that batch, which is the last one. I had 400 of them. Yeah. Thanks, cats. And that's going good. And the cats keep trying to destroy stuff. My uh, experiments with ice cube trays as grow trays, doing pretty good. Oh, it's like us just chasing the cat. These ones haven't come up yet, but I think I need to get a little bit more bottom heat on these. So I might rig up something to go on top of the wood stove or something. Everything in the back is doing great. So you can see where they close up a little bit for overnight. And everything's going back up. The sun's just starting to hit the tent, or the greenhouse. So everything's closed up, kind of. A bunch of thing. I'll be discussing that in more detail later. What it's for. Duckweed is doing awesome. I had that turned down because I was overflowing. I was, my sump was almost empty. I had to turn it down. So, I had to pump on too fast. And I had a leaf somehow get all the way back into the pump and shut the towers off by closing off the pump to the towers so everything wilted. So I had that on full blast last night and everything's back up to normal except for this mustard needs to be eaten. It's getting too big for the tower. Or I can fill that bucket up like I'm supposed to and put it in the bucket where it belongs. Because she's got some uh, impressive roots. Is that crazy? This is just off the mustard. I'm going to put it over. Uh, i got to put this down. Pause. Okay, before I finish the other part, I put in a cat drinking fountain to keep them out of the frigging greenhouse. They always seem to be wanting to come in. This is Peaches. To get a drink of water. So... I installed an outdoor water fountain for the cats, just to keep them out and hopefully from clawing the house up too much. We'll see what happens if they use it or not. Uh, I'm going to take up all the rest of the sources of water, show them individually where this thing is, and hopefully they decide that's what they want. So, Peach has already found it though, so he's happy I guess. But, now I don't have to worry about giving water to the cats. Uh, back to the other video here in a second. Okay, I'm back with the fodder system now in place. That was today's goal. Right now it's going to be manually turn on, turn off. I got a little drip bar in the back. Turn it on for 30 seconds or so. Turn it off. And that should be good enough. We'll drain down through the system and back in. The terracotta does have some mold on it, so I am going to bleach that out and uh, see if I can take care of that problem. Uh, right now, it's just a test for the whole system. Um, this is day four from indoors. Bring it out here to the greenhouse, finally. And uh, we're gonna go through the whole system, see what happens, step by step, day by day. And it looks like Jeff's favorite cat found the uh, water fountain also. All right, it's John from Lost Our Bio Gas saying have a nice day, and uh, I guess I made a drinking fountain for cats of all things. All right, any questions or comments, let me know.